we are live. It's B, right? B. B. Can you hear us? Are we live? Is it happening? Can you hear us? I have a new mic. I have a new mic. got a new mic. So, we're just testing it. We're not just testing it, but here we are. How's it going? We are just text. I had that a little bit earlier. With who? I just turned it on, so. Can you hear us? One, two, three. We can hear you. You are very loud. Okay. So it's been long. It's been longer. It's been long. It's been over. No, it hasn't. Yeah, we did it before I went. We did it on a Tuesday before I went on vacation. Oh, good. So that's been a long time. Ping kind of tested that because he said he missed us. So. Anyways, well, good. We missed you too. Here we are. So here we are. Uh, I I wanted to make a soup, and I thought about making clam chowder, but then I was like, clam chowder is like a. You can have a cup. Of, this is a conversation we're gonna have. That's me. We're gonna have a conversation. <laughs> so, what are we making? We're making pumpkin soup uh, because it's spooky season. Pumpkins uh, and squash are coming into um, coming into season now. Let's talk about pumpkins. First of all, I hope everybody enjoyed our biscuit episode last week. Uh, Ish, whenever that was, but uh, pumpkins um, don't go and don't don't buy these little. Don't get sucked into trendiness. I'm gonna make it from scratch. I'm gonna However, go. that roasted is a delicious side dish. It would be yeah. You can take it out. You can, yeah. Or if you were going to cut, you wanted to just get the guts out of it. You could take this out, scoop everything out, and put your put your soup in it. Ah. Uh -huh. That's how I want my soup served. Well, you're not getting it. Oh, Sorry. man. This is too much. Loser. <laughs> so, yeah, don't go. Look, what you can get out of a can is 100% pumpkin puree that's already been roasted. Save yourself four hours. We've talked about this, I think, in the past. but How long does it, like, if you were to, like, treat that like a, any other squash and you cut, cut it, it and you boil cut it, it and salt it and hour. roast it, how long would it take? An hour? An hour, probably. Because that's how long, like, acorn squash, right? Yeah. Like, 45 minutes yeah. to an hour? So... That'd be good. And, well, uh, speaking of... So let's not waste that and let's actually do Yeah, that. well, we will do it. So. But look at... Look and at pumpkin's these, uh, good for you. Squashes are good for you. Look at this. Aww. I grew this. Look at that guy. It's a butternut squash. What's that little guy? <laughs> this is a... Well, these are supposed, they're supposed to get this big. Oh, okay. They're called, they're called honey nut, and there's, like, you... They're, more dense in flavor, but that's adorable. Yeah, so I so I I grew one plant and I only got one. So oh shoot, that's a very expensive honey nut. Uh, you know, and is, uh, what else you got? You, those uh, are those Roma tomatoes over there. That one is like really round. Yeah, they are. Roma. It makes me laugh. They're from the garden. Which one? The <laughs> one that's super. This the, one? Yeah, that's the fattest Roma I've ever seen. Yeah. I came, like him. It came from the garden. Denise used those when she made spaghetti the other day. It was really good. Yeah, they're really good. Oh, hey, what's that sound, Amy? Timer. Why is the timer? Oh, bread, because if you have, uh, for the main. <laughs> Grilled cheese. So that is uh, a 10 minute. We're just making sandwich bread, but um, let me tell you. Making grilled cheese for dinner, so that's really good. Uh, we're gonna make this. Uh, we're gonna continue to use our pear syrup because we have so much of it. But Denise and I did an experiment because we're scientists, and Denise put a small amount of this, like this much, in the freezer, and it never froze. Like yeah. it didn't get. I think it's because of the sugar content, and it's just you know. So. So it's basically like alcohol. It did not freeze. Yeah, and I would say also kind of it's honey in consistency. So we're Does gonna make honey freeze. I don't know. Oh, here it is. That's a good question. Uh, it's loose out there. It's not even bread. Uh, so we're going to make this thing called creamy, creamy Pear Vanilla Bliss. Uh, I don't know. A computer made it up. So we're going to just see how it tastes. But it's vanilla vodka, pear syrup, and cream. I mean, how can that be bad with a little nutmeg garish? Nope. Garish? garish? Yeah. Garnish. I know. I know. When I said it, it's not good. So. We gotta get we gotta get moving on this. Isn't that funny? I wonder where your brain was going when you said pronounce that word incorrectly. I don't know. It's garish. It's not garish. No. 
So we gotta get we're moving on this. So we need two tablespoons of the. Uh, Why does it take a long time? It takes about thirty minutes to, to simmer, but we've got a lot of other things to be doing while it's happening. Okay. 20, 30 minutes. It's All just, right, let's do it. Just needs to get hot, you know. So I see you got your uh, Dutch oven there. Yeah. It's good oh. for making soups. Yeah. Yeah, it's the best because it's it, it's cast. It, this is enameled cast iron. The best part about enamel cast iron is A, it's good in retaining heat. So just, you know, get yourself a good one. This one is in, probably in need of being put out to pasture because it's got a big hole in the bottom of it where the cast iron is sitting through. So, oh, what? I don't know. I don't know if that's good or bad. Or, you know, it's got enamel on it. Like your teeth. Probably shouldn't eat flakes of that, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Hi, Andrea. Andrea and Co, I think. Oh yeah, that's right. The, the freezer are there. Okay, so I gotta get I gotta get a, a food pusher. So what'd you do this week, Doug? What did I do this week? Yeah. Was it what, did I do something important? That's what you always ask me. Oh, what did I do this I'm week? I'm just doing it back to you. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I let's see. Ooh. Did you just Call your mom Rusty instead of just saying my mom's here with me, unless or did you, or Lino. did your mom type that because, or it's Lino? Well, I know. I uh, what did I do this week? Oh, I did a lot of esports stuff. Oh man, we got a lot of good stuff going on with our esports here at the university. So I'm trying to get on top of that. It's my, it's basically my second job right now. Um, I've been working on servers and. Um, Migrations, and I just got another server for a big migration I have to do next week. Uh, otherwise, you know, maintaining my student employees and my full time employee, this is not clean. Great! <laughs> Maybe just clean it? Could I just clean it? Yeah. Yeah. Really, There's something stuck on it? Yeah, it's really cute yeah. on there. We'll get it later. But we want to soften these up. We're, again, we're going to get into, we want to get these um, translucent five minutes. And then I've got three or four cloves of garlic that I've minced up. And that goes in at the end because we don't want to burn it, right? So that's the deal. Um, what you did, what did you do this week? Let's see. Monday I had an all day meeting. It was good. I led this really small but mighty group of coaches, instructional coaches, and it was good. And Tuesday night, we had the inaugural meeting of the Warner community team, and that was great. And then Wednesday and Thursday, I just like did my job, and Friday I had a meeting with my mentor, and that was great. Except for she's, well, she's still going to be my mentor because I know her and I will just continue to call her and ask her things, but she's leaving the program or the, you know, the, the department technically, I guess. Oh yeah. Well, she, it's going to be great. She is going to be the pre-K through third grade person, which is like, you know, that is her wheelhouse. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, she's going to do a great job. Yeah, I'm really yeah. Happy for her. Uh, I'm sad for me, but I also know her email and her phone number, so it'll be fine. Yeah. Well, um, we had dinner with the Dupree's and the Dima Shelley's on Thursday. Oh, that's Thursday. right. Thursday we had dinner with the Van Damley, and that was awesome. It was? Well, I mean, being with them was awesome. Our meal was, hmm. I don't know if it was being <laughs> pranked or what, but that person, I think he, Lino might have hit it on the head by saying that person might have had a little bit too much to drink while serving the rest of the drinks. Yeah. So, I don't know. The food was good. It just was very spread out, and the service was inconsistent, and we were pretty much, and there wasn't a whole lot of people in the restaurant, so they didn't have that excuse. Yeah. I mean, it was not, yeah. And then I never think it's good when you arrive at a restaurant at a reasonable amount of time in the evening or time in the evening yeah. and then during your meal, staff goes home. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen. 
I don't have the beep beep beeps. Oh. That's, That's gas. gas. That's blue. Yeah. That's what Just giving everybody a little beep beep. Okay. Loud noise. How is everybody else out there in, uh, in the universe? I mean, that's a lot of people, but... It's, uh, it's Oh, and Denise and I went thrifting this morning, which we have not done in a very long time. How many months do you think? It's been a while. Yeah. Probably four And we found a few treasures. Yeah. So oh, hey, I, where's the battleship here? Over here. This is. I, I don't have an old. So I collect board games. Probably I said this a million times, but I don't. This is a 1971. Battleship. It's pretty great. I'm very excited about it. I hope it has all its parts because I do like playing Battleship. Amy, that's right. Amy does does like playing Battleship. This is a we really issue. need to play more games. We need to just have game night and invite people over to play games. Sure. I mean, that's probably a great idea. It's just wrestling five dogs. Whatever. We just gotta know. This is our life. I'm not in the garage. And the dogs got a groomer on Friday? They did. And Jack does not, uh, it was important, Jack doesn't like the hair dryer. But he typically barks the whole time anyway, so. Ooh. I'm an undepressive chef. I can grill uh, alliums really good. They smell really good. That's how you call a good chef. I, I, don't, I don't know that I like that it's not that guy being the groomer. Right? You said it was some gal? Yeah, but she was with him the last two times that he... Oh. Well, I still know that like that. Well, you are in charge of that, so you can take it up with the people. All right. So the thing is, they come to us, so that's pretty awesome. Yeah. So, again, take your pumpkin puree. This is four cups. You can see there's gaps in there. It's four cups. But How many cans? What? How many cans? It's one big one, one little one. And I'll tell okay. you why. It's that's more, it's probably more, let me put it this way. That's more than it says. But four cups is what it, it got out. But if you were looking at sheer volume of what the can says, it should be more than that. But the point being is, I need 32 ounces, you know, of four, four cups. And the big can is 29 ounces. And then the smaller is the fit regular is 15 ounces. So, you know. What's the matter? You got a weird look on your face. We have game night in, so I don't know what this means, in Solace every other night. Solace is a, one, of the, one of the settlements on the Minecraft server. Oh, cool. The Jack, Jackbox is something I, do you uh, buy, did you, um, hold on. I gotta count my thoughts. Did you buy? Did you guys buy like a big pack of the Jackbox stuff, or did you do? Did you buy it individually and just have added on to it? Is Jackbox the thing where you can play games online? Through like your yeah. So you have their you have the system, and then everybody has it on their phone and that kind of is stuff. Is that what um, Junco had that yeah. one night? Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, that was fun. So, yeah, it is fun. And so I've been trying to for online events for the the esports and gaming club. I've been trying to think of things to do and that would be a really good one so one person pays for like a subscription or something um there's like you buy the game basically you buy the main game and then there's extra mm. so what did uh, we play like a trivia thing or something? yeah it's like trivia but there's all kinds of different ones i'm not even sure of all of them i know that they're this is too hot to handle everybody turn it down Okay. Uh, that's, that's the bread. bread. That's the bread. Well, it really wow, look at that guy. Is he going to just shrink all the nuts in? No, it should be good. Did you just cut two things like that? No, nope, it did that on its own. Oh. Did you forget to cut it? No, I usually don't cut sandwich loaves, but usually it's not that big of a problem. So I'm not sure. We'll see what it looks like when it cools down. Okay. So... We basically is just combining everything. Now, let's get into the meat of it. 
there's been some conversations that I've seen where this is a. Uh, I, I need to get a graphic of a taco fighting um, a burrito or something and call it a food fight or whatever. But, but that is what we're doing is a food fight. And the food fight is, is, is soup, a side, a pre-main dish meal, or is it a main? And I, I read this thing that said if it's like a chicken noodle soup or a lighter soup, that's a side. But if it's like a heavy soup, then it's a main. And I'm like, I don't think so. I, that's not true. I don't think so because I can get a cup of clam chowder. Yeah, and that's a side. Right. But I believe it when the change happens is when volume becomes an issue. <laughs> because I feel like if you look at it this way, if I get a cup of any soup, that's usually before my meal. Comes with oyster crackers or regular whatever. But if I want a bowl of soup, that's my meal. Mm. What if the soup is really good? I've been with people who ordered a bowl of the soup because it's so good. And still have their and still have their Yeah. Yeah. I, listen, I think you're I think you're on it. Okay, so that's so I Let's see. What do I? I don't know. It's. Uh, I mean, there's a lot to talk about with it. So. Well, here's the thing. I actually. I. Okay, I'm gonna throw a monkey, or another layer. Okay. I would not consider a grilled cheese like a full meal. See. If this... it's not, it needs soup, or salad, or a pasta salad, or something else with it. But what if you put ham in there? No, still no. So this is a teaspoon of cinnamon. It's that's a lot. It is, but there's four cups. Of, when we add everything in there, it's gonna be it's gonna because there's four cups of broth getting ready to go in there. There's cream. There's you know. So you're. It seems like it's gonna be too, but you know, cinnamon goes in savory dishes. Indian food that is like all kinds of stuff. Yeah, my cinnamon. principal would be screwed. He's allergic to cinnamon. What? I know. Don't do that, Jeff. I'm very sorry. If you ever <laughs> Jeff, my principal, allergic to cinnamon. So all this pumpkin spice stuff, he's like, get away from me. Yeah. It's also overdone, but, you know. Overhyped? Yeah. Yeah. And then a half teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Now, again, we're going, we're going fresh. So, yeah. So you're guessing. Yeah. It's a decent amount because. It's uh, <laughs> enough. <laughs> Where'd that nutmeg come from? Uh, the nutmeg capital of the world, Grenada. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to give this a good stir to mix those in pretty good. Now, this, you're thinking, well, that's really chunky with all those onions. You're correct. But we are going to use the immersion blender on it, which we'll get to in a minute. Okay. Nobody's letting us know in the chat about the... The, the food soup. fight? Yeah. That's, yeah. It, food fights are about you, too. Oh, wait. Andrea said, yes, soup is a side dish. Okay. And yes, I love playing Battleship. Yeah, Andrea. Andrea is my game playing friend. We played... Uh, remember when we played Face 10? That was fun. Well, I'm not your game player. Well, I mean, I don't know. You and I never sit down and play games. Sometimes I'm worried. I gotta tell you, I got I I forgot to turn the fan off because it is so. Sorry, we played Battleship. Yeah, I guess that's true. When we're I'm on a vacation. Puzzler. I like what is games. that sound? I don't think it's that. It's probably yeah. just getting to the end of itself. Can you hear that? Is that I mean, where it's coming from? It's, the combination is going to make you want to I don't hear the, the fan. Ocean. Okay. So, yes. I used uh, Better Than Bouillon to make the... the <laughs> Long time ago, the old Flamingo Casino had a battleship slot machine. It was fabulous. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so, see what happens here with as soon as I added the the yes. chicken broth. So that that savoriness is going to really balance out like the cinnamon and the nutmeg that went in there. And so you're going to want to, you know, 
get it really good and integrated in there because this is going to have to get up to a, a basically a boil and then we're going to add then we're going to turn it down real low to a simmer and before we do that we'll take it off we'll replace the bottle so it doesn't make that horrible sound but you know um what else? oh we're not going to be here next saturday but we will put on a show on wednesday maybe if you're lucky and we're organized we are organized. how much soup is this making a lot in italy soup is a side well there you heard it first everybody is it always a side but what about pho? That's a, that's a me. Yeah, I mean. What, what, but like when, and also when I make that. Um, like taco soup. Taco soup or um, that, uh, shoot, why can't I think of what it's called? White chicken chili. That's yeah. A, or the uh, Zupa Toscana. What oh, that's it, a me. Is there, if the, if there, what, is it got to be like there's a. Uh, what about soup in a bread bowl? I, I don't, I, I mean, that's the real question. That's a main. It's that's gotta be. Because... Soup. I don't feel like I... So if it's broth based? Like this, I don't feel like this is. A main? A main. What would it need in it to make it a main? Meat. No. I don't know. I'm a meat eater. Vegetables and nuts, maybe? Roasted yes. pine nuts? We're gonna move this over to here. Is a pan roast a soup? It came in a soup bowl. I mean, look, I think this is why it's like people are very set in their ways about like, well. It's hearty though. It has like lots of seafood yeah, in it. That's what I'm saying. It's same thing with like a, like, I think like a clam chowder, as much as I love getting a clam chowder at a restaurant and having it as, you know, maybe a side. I, I, if I was making clam chowder here, I'd eat that as a meal. Well, yeah, but you'd have like a big end of crusty bread with it. Right. I think it, I think a side dish is whatever you want it to be. That's what I think. Is what, how you feel in your heart? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't. I, I like that. Do you feel it in your heart? So this is going to do its business for about twenty minutes. You can put bacon on a barbecue. A side dish can be whatever you want it to be. Does more cheese in a grilled cheese make it a main dish? <laughs> well, no. No, actually, I believe that there's two. There, uh, grilled cheese is there's a ratio, just like there is for there sandwiches. Is, yeah. You can have you look. It can be too cheesy. Well, and not to Amy saying that, everybody. <laughs> Amy loves cheese. I do. So this. I love about this is it's basically like you ever guys ever been to Yellowstone? It's like bloop, 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 yeah, like you, a mud pot. Can you see it? I can hear it. <laughs> it's making me laugh. So if you have a side dish Hey, get out of my kitchen. To a side dish, would it still be a side dish? I don't even know. What's a side dish to a side dish? That's a great question. I mean, is it is that a canapé? I think you call it a, is it an appetizer. I think you say my side dish has a side car. <laughs> side car. Hey, where's my cocktail? I was I'm thinking. Side car. Okay, let's make a cocktail. Um, I. Was I'm gonna make? Oh, we played Yahtzee. That's right, not Face Ten. Still, my mom played. We played. Uh, we played Yahtzee because I have a Yahtzee set that looks like Top Ramen. That's true. Hey, boys! I'm like snapping to the air. Like, yep. What am I doing? Oh, let's put some ice in this thing because we gotta shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. So this is, I would say, it's kind of a, a, a sweeter play on a white Russian. So we have vanilla vodka, and we need one and a half ounces of this. Now, if you wanted to be a big shot and you wanted two ounces of this, fine. I'm a big shot. I'm not your dad. 
Which is, I'm not your dad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lily, stop fighting me. Do you want two or do you want one no, and a half? One and a half. That's good. I mean, Lily's fighting me. Well, fight her. So you're going to want to let this. Rusty loves games also. We should have game night. Someday. Tomorrow. What? No, tomorrow is Sunday. And that is my day of rest. Just like okay. God. Bless for me, bless for you. Bless for you. And this is again. Delicious. Good smelling. And now a little cream. So one of the things, uh, side note, that I have been learning, I've been going through this training. Um and it talks a lot about where we make the sounds in our mouths. Uh -huh. And um, like all the different ways to label those sounds and think about those sounds and help kids pay attention to where those sounds are made. And it's really interesting once you start studying it, like the NG sound. What does that sound like? Mm. Yeah. And ink and K. And um, like, remember how when the kids spell and they and they write drive, J-R-I-V-E? Sure. Because drive, J and D are very close in the mouth. It's really interesting. What about soup and salad? I don't, I, see, here's, here's the thing. I don't think that's just two side dishes pretending it, to be a main. <laughs> exactly, and soup, you know, soup in a sandwich. That to me, if you're eating both, it depends on the sandwich too. Because, like you said, if grilled cheese, don't know, yeah, I think grilled cheese are main dishes. I don't know. That's just me. Grilled cheese are main dishes, even if they don't have anything. Listen, I'm just a guy, and I'm telling you what I think. Just a just a grilled cheese. That's comes on your plate. That's it. That's your main. I don't know. You know what I'm gonna say now, and I'll tell you why. It's not hardy enough unless it's big enough and the bread is big. Well, but Denise said, "What if it has like ham in it or turkey or something?" That is a, that's a full sandwich. That's a sandwich, that's not a sandwich. just a grilled cheese. And a grilled cheese is technically a subclass of a sandwich, much as. I just made Emmy do this one. Wow, that's really good. Like, really good? <clears throat> yeah. Like, oh my God, this is the best drink ever that I just invented? Yeah, putting that little nutmeg garnish on the top, way to go. You're welcome. That was awesome. Glad I could be here to help. Denise is trying to sneak over here to have a drink of my drink. I know what she's doing. She can, she can get her own. Popcorn is a side dish. Well, okay, now that now we're now. I think popcorn is a dessert. It's a it's a, it's a snack. And so we haven't yeah, you know what? Man. That's a subgenre of things that we've never really even got into. Because again, the intention is is when you go for a snack, in my mind, that you're going for something. You're not going to eat a snack. And I mean, you could eat multiple snacks, but not, it's like breakfast. None of those is a star. I'm just saying. Now I don't know where I'm at. Oh, yeah, here. Oops. What am I doing here? I don't know, dude. I just did two ounces of vodka, by the way. <laughs> so I bet a grilled cheese made in a toaster oven. What, why does it matter where it's made? <laughs> what about a salad made in space? Are we, are we just saying ridiculous things? <laughs> Space. No, that's the one thing they tell you not to have. I learned that from my good friend Mark, Mark Watley from uh, the uh, market. Ooh, those are bad dogs. They stop. They get. They, they only. Get really rowdy, like right now. 
So we also played Face Ten. We played all the games. That's true. We used to play Face Ten quite a bit, just you and me. Whoa. I know. You, whoa. You resisted, but. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is just getting crazy. I got hot soup on my face! Did you really? I did. I'm sorry. Are you okay? You know what I mean? A cocktail? I mean. A splatter guard? How's your, how is your drink? I haven't had it yet. Splatter guard. Well, I, I thought about that. So, there, you know, it, it came up that, uh, that I was thinking about, like, what could we do? Like, kettle corn was one that I was really thinking about doing because I love good kettle corn. Oh. Popcorn yeah, we could do that. That's, That's what, what Ping just said. Yeah. Maybe popcorn toppings and caramel popcorn bowls. Well, I want to do, we got, I, I need a theme for my birthday this year. What are we going to do? That since December 13th. You have a couple of months to think about Is this. Is it popcorn? No. I don't, like, I don't like popcorn that much, <laughs> but I think it should be like a dessert party or something. So, dessert party. Maybe we could make candy of some sort. Candy's fun. We could get. Uh, ooh, I got an idea. Stop the show. Do you guys know about these uh, Reese's uh, like wafer sticks that they have? They're just like Reese's peanut butter cups, except they have a wafer in it, and they're like Kit Kat size. And you get them in a king size pack. Can't buy them in a four pack or a two pack. You can only buy them in a big pack. Now, I only say this because they're delicious. Second, I want to make them. So what I'm thinking is getting some silicone molds uh, for like a Reese's. Some thing. what? Silicone molds. 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 What did I say? I don't know. And then uh, making peanut uh, peanut butter cups and other peanut butter know, cup. other things like maybe we're trying to make a Snickers or something. I don't know. We already have silicone molds that so will do that. That is amazing. I think you could put some sparkling water in there to kind of. No. I like it exactly <laughs> how it is. It's creamy. The vanilla really shines through, but not alcohol y. And the pear syrup. There is a kind of caramelizing depth of flavor. Mm -hmm. It's, I'm gonna, can you, um, I'm gonna give you this. Put, 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 put that in the chat because that, people should make this. Oh, okay. If you don't have pear syrup. What if you don't have pear syrup? Well, you can make it, it's really easy. You just take some pears, add some water, boil it down, then add, I don't know, a few cups of sugar and go from there. I can get you a recipe for that. If not, use honey. That would also, like a, yeah, like a dark honey, add some cinnamon and sugar to it. Or cinnamon and uh, vanilla. I mean, um, I don't know. I've never seen pear syrup in a store, but maybe. I don't know. I mean, I, yeah. This is um, an excellent, like, holiday drink. Yes. I feel like you could, where you're going to make... Eggnog, is, homemade eggnog is the best. And we have that, we've made that recipe where a single serve, we can make single servings. Um, but this is, I think it's very close in terms of that. So. Close to what? Uh, eggnog. Yes. It, it I mean. But lighter. Uh, yes. Because also, why can't you buy uh, pints of eggnog at the store? Why do I have to buy a quart? Or a gallon, or a half gallon. I think you can. I've never seen it. Why do you only want a pint? Well, because... Because I'm the only one that drinks it. The thing is notorious for getting eggnog and we don't drink all of it. Okay. I got to move this bread. It needs to be all right. Still hot, still hot, bud. still hot. Oh my God, look at that though. Beauty. I mean. <clears throat> oh yeah, and it didn't shrink down. No, it did not. So, let's just have a, this piece right here. Oh, delightful. 
Mm. <laughs> What's mm? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I like that. You just said delightful. I did, but there there was some, something at the end that causes concern. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have pretty taste. We're, uh, we're, he uh, says that's a beautiful loaf. Lino says toaster oven grilled cheese is not a real thing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Sounds like something you made up. You thought maybe it's not cooked all the way? Well, I mean, it has sat for, what, 10 minutes? Yeah. So, I mean, it's at 150 degrees. It would have been at 190 degrees when it came out originally. So it's be fine. I was a little, worried, a little worried about it. It's fine. It'll be fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I mean, we're going to grill it, so. I think you should cut into it now. Now we're all curious. You can't because it's too warm to grill. Oh, okay. It, that will let it do its thing. Um, you're funny for the night? You are funny for the night? I don't know what that means. What? Or maybe your face was your funny for the night? Oh. When you were like, oh, yeah, yeah. And then you're like, mm. Hmm. Now, we're going to add in the cream here after we, mm -hmm. and when we do the immersion blender. Traditionally, I've seen it made, a couple of recipes show it made with uh, coconut milk. Oh, yeah. But we're using cream, because that's what I have. We could probably have coconut milk, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not playing that game, so... Um, next week I'm probably going to do, there was something I was going to do, now I can't remember. Hmm. Popcorn. First two stock in the world. I mean, we can always do something popcorn. I was going to do, yeah, that, I actually was going to do something popcorn because Halloween is next is the week after. And I was like, we'll, we'll make popcorn balls and be that lane house that gives out popcorn balls. Why is that the lame house? I love popcorn balls. I liked them when I got them. I couldn't have them. My parents thought there would be razor blades in them. Or meth. <laughs> meth wasn't around when we were little like that. Sure it was. It's just called speed. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm going to probably drink like two of these more of these tacos before the end of the show. Ooh, you're going to get nuts. Not there's such a thing called popcorn soup. I think you're right. It's a thing here. All right. Yeah. Moving the on to best the next. popcorn soup is a creamy, buttery, and velvety. So you want to make popcorn soup? Yeah. For those of you who don't know, this is an immersion blender. This looks delicious. Now, this is, we haven't done this segment yet, but it's called. Excessive versus essential. <laughs> if anybody knows how to make animated intros, I would like the food fight one. Let's say a taco fighting a grilled cheese. That's from Hot Rod, and I think we should watch. That would be funny to watch them fight. And then, um, and then essential versus uh, or excessive versus excessive, uh, essential is something else. So, is an immersion blender an excessive tool to have in your kitchen or an essential tool? Ladies? For us, essential. For me, probably excessive. So, is it set, if you have a good blender, is that excessive? If you have a good blender, you don't need an immersion blender. I have a different opinion because I think the application, while you can make a lot of good things in your blender. This, I feel like, has more control. Like, when I make homemade mayo... Okay, I will say, I know that you can make soup in the blender and yada, 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 but I do worry about the heat aspect and burning myself and the lid, you know, all kinds of crazy Yeah, things. that's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. So I think from a safety aspect, yeah, an immersion blender is a good thing to have. And blenders have their place. How do you, else are you going to make your mouth safe? And your, you know, other sauces that you need, like butter chicken-like sauce. That's how I, you could technically still make it with this. But I feel like a hand immersion blender definitely gives you more control. <laughs> now, there also, the other thing that to, to keep in mind here. That needs to be.
be clean. You guys look at this. <laughs> Can you see it? It's so funny. It's called the unibrow Hefeweizen. Good thing I look We drank that in Colorado. I think this sticker is Andrea's, actually. <laughs> it's hilarious. It reminds me, do you guys remember that movie Dodgeball? Nobody needs me bleed my own blood. <laughs> but um, one of the gals on Ben Stiller's dodgeball team had a unibrow. Gentlemen. Eggnog liqueur? What's eggnog liqueur? Sounds made up. You guys a cop? Because that's not what a cop would say. <laughs> you're a cop. you got to let me know. Like, it's a little odd. you got to tell me you're a cop before we go any further. Especially if I ask. That's not true. It's just a funny thing. This had what looked to be uh, tomato soup dried on the bottom of it. Oh. The first grilled cheese I made, Lino, was in a toaster oven, and he didn't know what to think, and he married me anyway. <laughs> I, I don't still know what to think, and I've been friends with you for like 21 <laughs> years, so um, I don't even I don't even know what to think about that right now. That is absolutely horrifying. So why is that horrifying? I mean, if it works, it's not stupid if it works. This is fire hazard. <laughs> Look, not if you put a little piece of tin foil underneath. You can't no. <laughs> How did you like the uh, toaster oven? Oh, that was marshmallows. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Was that the one where you looked? No, I did light the toaster oven on yeah. fire. What was I cooking in there? I don't know, but you turned it on. You, she... I unplugged it, and then I squirted it with the hose from the sink. Yes, that is. That is but I unplugged it first, so safety first, everyone. Yeah. I did light the marshmallows on fire on top of the, uh, yeah, the yams. Eh. <laughs> So I'm going to remove this from me. I mean, so I've had two kitchen fires in over 40 years. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good, she says, everybody. I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> I mean, I never burnt down the kitchen so far, so. The, watching her take the, the thing <laughs> off of the stove and from... What, 10 feet away squirted into a plugged in toaster. No, it was not plugged in. I unplugged oh, that, it. That's right. So it was fine. I thought it was rather quick thinking on my or part. Fires, toaster fires? No, the other fire was in the, uh, in the oven. You know, marshmallows, you get them too close to the boiler, they, they let them fire. You're dead. So I like am. Camper, they light up fire. I mean, that's just a thing. I mean, I could, this smells ridiculously good already. I can tell. You want to go? You want to take this as smooth as you can get it. So you got to take your time here. Oh, Pink says the only kitchen fires they've had were from malfunctioning toaster oven. I Sounds feel like, like the toaster oven gives people a false sense of security. Sounds to me like they shouldn't be. Uh, <laughs> People have less respect for the toaster oven than they do the regular oven, and so they do more dangerous things in there. Again, you got to take your time here because you want it. I mean, most of the time it's going to be as smooth as you can. So you know, take your food pusher. You think a toaster oven is essential, Andrea, or the? Oh, I don't. That's, that's, that's another show. <laughs> or the immersion blender is oh, essential. God. I'm just you know what? Maybe we should just make these listicles and people should just put in, like, you should bring five and you should bring five and I should bring five. No. No, see? And then we do that every so often. I don't think so. This is. Not like one at a time. But it's natural conversation. So I watched The Fall of the House of Usher on Netflix. So did Denise. It was good. I liked it. It's better to blend it in the original vessel than transfer it. Yeah, I agree. Well, you know, you put it in a blender, 
and you blend the shit out of it, and then you and then you're not remembering that you just put a whole bunch of hot stuff in there, and you take the lid off, and what do you get? Face a lot of steam. Not a great, not a great thing. Oh, she sorry, doesn't Brooke, know what you're you? talking about. She's definitely not emerald. <laughs> it's not the pumpkin that you're chopping up. Is it the onion? The onions and the, the garlic and stuff, yeah. I am introducing air into it, which is going to make the texture lighter. <laughs> Could you imagine there's just somebody, some sous chef who's just like every day have. <laughs> what did you do that? I'm not the pumpkin. Oh, so we ate this place called Sopra. Oh yeah, and we had it was very fancy. We uh, when we were in Colorado Springs, and it was up uh, is an Italian restaurant above an Italian restaurant owned by the same people. Um, but but Sopra is like the elevated fancier menu. Yeah, and so we had this pumpkin tiramisu <coughs> that they made, and um, they I I really liked it. It was very good. It was really 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 really. Um, like balanced flavor wise and the reason they started making it is because they when they bought the restaurant they had like what nine cases of pumpkin puree or something like that in their kitchen and so that's why they made that's what they have What are you looking up there? Sopra means above. Yeah. That's why the restaurant above is called Sopra. It also has like an elevated menu. Everything we ate that night, we went to like a wine dinner and it was amazing. The braised beef, amazing. Everything was amazing except the pasta course. Because the pasta was just a little overdone. Yeah. I, I liked it. All right. Now I'm using one cup of cream here. And we're going to... Um, I'm going to put this in. And we're going to play it by ear. Because it might... The, I feel like for this, it is... a little. Right now, it's a little thick. I think. So we're gonna put this in and we're gonna see where we go. And if we need to add more cream, we will. Because the cream is gonna help thin it out. So we're just gonna, you know. And it's gonna help smooth it. It did like it, yes. Have you tasted it at all? I have not tasted it for seasoning yet. I'm getting it. I uh, salt and peppered the onions and the, and the garlic when it was there. But that's all the seasoning it currently has, uh, other than the cinnamon and the nutmeg. Okay, my guess is it probably needs salt. But we'll see. Soup. Soup de jour. That means soup of the day. <laughs> so. Definitely needs salt. Definitely needs fat. Just should taste so. Yeah. It's very good though. The really good part about it. And it is that was pretty smooth what I got. Good. So 
obviously it's pumpkin forward. So if you don't like pumpkins, you don't <laughs> like this. But what I would say is the chicken broth um, adds, again, adds that savory umami flavor to it that is going to be good. Ooh, you know what you could have added to? What's that? Some mushrooms. That would have upped the umami as well. But it would have made it a weird color, probably. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, get out of the kitchen. Good boy. Okay, let's, uh, let's try it out. So whenever you're making soup, you gotta be careful not to over um, season it at the beginning because soup is, if you put a bunch of salt in at the beginning and that salt and the, and the broth or whatever the soup is, is gonna reduce down. And what's that gonna do? It's gonna concentrate the salt. So you can counteract that by putting more liquid in there, but then you're diluting the flavor. You don't want to do that. So just do it at the end. I mean, I think it probably could take more salt, but you tell me. Oh, no, I think that's good. You think it's perfect? Yeah, really right. good. Okay. Man, that is really, really great. Wow, I'm, a, I'm very happy with that. So let's have a little bowl so Amy can taste uh, with the full compliment. Nick, you know what? It's beautiful color. I mean, it is definitely folly. And then. You read my mind. Just a little bit. You know what would be really good on this? Roasted pine nuts. It would be. Or roasted pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds, parsley or Sunflower thyme, seeds. Croutons. I mean. Thank you. So. It's really going to go really, really good with a grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. I think so. That is good. I think it's I think it's one of the best soups I've made in a while. Delicious. So at this point, we're done. We've done it. We made it. We made we made what we set out to make. We made an amazing drink that I'm going to drink more of. And we're going to eat this and have grilled cheeses. And I don't know what you're doing, but you're not doing that. So I feel bad for you. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Like I said, no side dish next Saturday, but on Wednesday we will do something before we head out of town. Um, and then I will be gone the, actually, the next weekend as well. So, so a couple Wednesdays. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Anything, anything else? Mm -mm. All right, well, make bread, make soup, enjoy the fall, uh, make a bread bowl, have a pumpkin bowl, I don't care. Uh, but remember to do it with love and to do it with kindness, and remember to be kind, be loyal, and do something nice for somebody next week. It really makes a difference, especially this time of year. Seasonal depression is blooming. Yeah. So check in on your friends, ask them how they're doing, you know, make sure they still believe that they should be around. And uh, with that, we love you. Thank you very much for showing up, as you always do. We'll see you next week. And, uh, you know, bye-bye. <laughs>